Good morning guys, Tim here from Chasing Trails Outdoors. Rabbit season is upon us. I just posted my first uh, walk around and see absolutely nothing uh, video of the year. And uh, as exciting as that video was, I'd really like to find something a little bit better for today. So uh, I am out at a spot I know there's rabbits. And I know there's rabbits at the other place, but this place I actually got a rabbit. It's my old deer spot. And I've also got, I don't know if you can see him there on my back. Oh, sorry, other side. I got my, uh, I got some snares. So I bought a snare license. Here in New Brunswick, you, all, you don't need a trapper's license to do rabbit snares. I got old Betsy here. And uh, my 12, my 20 gauge break action, just in case. And if a crow comes near me, I'm going to take that bugger too. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, guys, uh, I got, uh, I got this hill here. We got to go down. We're going to slide down there. Yeah, you crock off there, you. So, uh, we got to, uh, it just snowed last night and went down to minus, um, minus, uh, 15 or sorry, minus 20. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I got, I got to go down this hill right here and I'm actually just going to slide down. I got my snow pants on today. So let's, let's slide down. Because it's, I don't want to slip and fall and hurt uh, and break anything. And we're now at the bottom. <laughs> that, was, that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever. I started up there, came down, and got my butt cut on that right there. Right in that notch right there. Slid over that and down. So the trail comes the trail comes right here behind me, guys, and goes in, and then you can branch left. Um, not really a trail back beyond this here, but the, it can go left and go to where the deer were wintering last year. Um, I have not put any feet out this year. Uh, due to the complete lack of deer out here. I, I figured they've moved off to another area. So I haven't done any deer feed out here. And I'm not seeing any tracks either. So that tells me there's no deer here at all. But there are rabbit tracks. Not in this section. But we're just checking it out. Seeing what we got for tracks. So now we're going to branch. We're going to go in. And we're going to branch right and head towards the swamp. And that's where we're going to find the rabbits I believe. That's where I got my rabbit earlier this year too. <laughs> came across our first set of rabbit tracks so and they're coming across here they're, they're cutting through here so I think maybe right around here somewhere will be a good spot to set the first snare uh, just kind of want to see where they're going to I'm gonna maybe follow them a bit see if I can find a pinch point that they're cutting through and see if we can set that up now uh, get it off the ground there's no coyotes back here I've seen one coyote in three years so not worried but I am interested in getting my first snare put up really excited so we're gonna follow the track see where we're going here we are guys we got uh, what I think might be the first spot for the rabbit uh, so I, I've got a rabbit trail here it looks like a place they may hide out in a pile of brush the rabbit trail comes through here so I'm gonna put a, a, a rabbit snare right here it's like a little gap in the trees so this is the spot uh, he came through so last night uh, we had fresh snow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the snare here I'm gonna attach it to this tree and then maybe I'll throw some shrubs or something in here just to stop the to stop them from going around so I pre-made some snares there's my first snare right there so big enough for my fist to go through and I want to hang it
also want to do, I want to use just a little orange marker here, orange string, just to flag off the top of the tree so I, it makes it easier for me to find later. up right here below me guys and we are all set i've got a camera on the game trail watching it so if a rabbit goes through i'll know and uh the trap is all set and ready to go i am pumped to see if we get something whether we do or not i don't know but pretty fun let's head off to the next one uh, we are now on the edge of the swamp and i got Looks like maybe a pretty happening area here. We might even be denning around here somewhere. And uh, so yeah, so <clears throat> we want to uh, try and figure this out. Find a spot here, I think right up here. would be a nice spot. I'm about 40, 50 yards from the other trail I was following. And this runs in the opposite direction by the looks of it. Whew. And I think I've got a spot right here I can set up. So for the area that I'm in guys, um, I've come down like if, if this is a big circle, I come over here and I've done here and here. And the tracks kind of kind of cross this way like this. Not that that probably made any sense to anybody. <laughs> but so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to backtrack. Uh, I came in this way up here and then I came down and then now I'm going this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in deeper and I'm going to go back further where I saw the, uh, the one of the... Um, scrapes we're going to go back in that section and i'm going to see if there's any tracks back there got some fresh deer track and one might say how do you know it's fresh tim well it's within the last 24 hours because it snowed last night yeah and heading back this way which is the direction to which i've been back here before I've uh, scouted that way and over to the right not far is actually a, uh, a really, really nice looking scrape. It's a big 10 point from last year that I missed out on this second to last day of hunting because I decided to be a dad and hang out with his son instead of a hunter. I let the boys have their day. It was, it was a good day for the boys. I was crying when I saw the deer in the can. So he walked right through here. Anyone up there? I heard something crash earlier through the woods. I'm trying to think which way he's walking. come back here along the edge and see what uh, see if there's any tracks I followed that deer track and uh, it went right past the scrape didn't go to the scrape but it went past it so that's kind of cool now I'm gonna come up along the edge here and this is along the swamp again oh <laughs> looks like the buck came back around this way that's cool so this must be where he's hiding out all that time I spent hunting up on the ridge and he was down in here. And this is a beautiful looking hunting spot. I haven't been to this part of the property uh, that I'm on, or the land that I'm on. This looks much more ideal. I could only do bow back here, but much more promising looking. <laughs> Sure enough, last night I got a picture of a rabbit before he entered the area of the trap, or sorry, the snare. 
So I came in to check it, and sure enough, the snare's broken. So I, I, uh, I had to, the, the snare's broken at the loop, so I uh, pulled all the wiring off the tree, and I'll set a new snare. So there is the snare all reset, and that is just, just the right size. Okay, so the, uh, the first snare is reset, no rabbit. Yeah, I don't see, uh, I don't really see where he took off to. Maybe this way, oh, what is this? There's some other type of track coming through here too now. That's nice. This is what I set the trail cameras up for, so I can catch what's moving on the trail. So, I don't want to catch an animal dying, but what I want to catch is what might be coming, following the rabbits. And eventually, once I catch a rabbit, with the leftovers, we want to set up and see if we can get minks or martins or, or fishers uh, on, uh, on camera. That's the idea. See you guys right there. That is a third trap. This is a new set of rabbit tracks that weren't here yesterday. So I just decided I had some wire with me. So I set up a third trap here. So I've got three in a line coming down on crisscrossing rabbit uh, trails. So. So this is the last spot here and down right there is where the trap is so uh yeah um nothing comes through here but hopefully my other spot will have a little more action we'll see so now we got the camera set up and ready to go on the trails uh and then we'll see if anything's following the rabbits down the trails or not uh, nothing in the snow yet although it looked like something smaller might have been squirrel could have been something else the the tracks were really close to each other and pretty far apart which makes me think maybe like a weasel or something which would be really cool to get on camera but uh, we'll see what happens i found another spot along the trail i was just walking and uh, decided instead of going back to come a little bit deeper in the woods and sure enough i found a spot that uh, looks really good it's got an overhanging branch and stuff so i'm going to put a quick quick uh, snare in here it's probably the same rabbit probably the same one that broke through my snare earlier too so very possible Right there guys, that is the last snare set. So that makes number four that I've set up. Apparently I was questioning whether or not I even wanted to snare when I get out here and I saw the broken trap. Uh, it's kind of like hunting, a little bit of excitement there, eh? So anyways, I, uh, I've set two more snares now. I got four total going. I got them all marked in hunt stand. And now it is time to get the heck out of the woods. I'm gonna walk up through uh, a spot that I was uh, watching some deer this summer just to take a look to see what's moving around there so that is it for this episode of chasing trails outdoors guys i hope you enjoyed my first episode of snaring we'll go uh, we'll go on as we see what's up with that and uh hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see some success with this thanks again for watching and have a great day mm -hmm.